Do you remember Gypsy Rose? The girl who became an instant celebrity after she ended her mom's life? I killed my mom because I hated her. It happened after she discovered that her mom, Dee Dee, was intentionally making her sick for money. Her mom shaved her head to make her look like a cancer patient. She didn't allow her to go out without her big glasses on to make it seem like she was visually impaired. And she put a feeding tube in her stomach even though she's totally capable of eating solid food. And her mom even forced her to use a wheelchair and act like she's disabled even though she can walk perfectly fine. Basically, her mother used her as a cash cow by faking her illnesses. Cancer, epilepsy, muscle dystrophy, mental retardation, and many more on the list. But this was just the beginning of the disturbing case of Gypsy Rose. Because she later discovered that her mom would do anything for the money and that includes hurting her. So to keep up the chronically ill kid act, her mom poisoned her with medicines so that she would exhibit actual symptoms of the disease. Her mom even let her undergo serious surgeries that she didn't even need. Her whole life was stolen from her until she had enough. She tried to run away a lot of times but every time she tried to escape she ended up chained to her bed, starving and neglected for weeks. I started to feel like it was either her or me. How could a mother do this to her child? So Gypsy sought help not from her relatives nor from her neighbors but from her then boyfriend whom she met online. Because believe it or not, she believed that she's only going to be saved by a knight in shining armor because she felt that she was a damsel in distress. So she made this disturbing request to her boyfriend. Will you please come kill my mother for me? Because I can't do it myself. So was Gypsy Rose a survivor or a murderer or both? Gypsy Rose became the face of the most shocking crime in America. She wanted to be free so bad that they elaborately planned the murder of her mom via text. I'm a hundred percent in, hun. I'm ready, truly. I will go with you and live our dream. They prepared gloves, a knife, and even duct tape. And you wouldn't believe what Gypsy texted Nicholas on the day of the murder. The gonna go down tonight. Gypsy led her boyfriend, Nicholas, inside their home. She stayed in the bathroom while her boyfriend was ending her mom's life. Her mom was stabbed 17 times and she was calling Gypsy's name before she took her last breath. Gypsy, help me. But what's more disturbing was that Gypsy was even caught on can celebrating the death of her mother. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> Then, for the first time in Gypsy's life, she experienced freedom. Her mom was always around, and the only time she didn't follow or watch her was the moment that she died. I remember my mom said, happy endings are not just in fairy tales, they're real. Gypsy felt that her dream had come true, but she didn't want her mom's body to rot alone or to be left hidden. So Gypsy posted two messages on her mom's Facebook account to catch the attention of the police. Slash that fat pig and her sweet innocent daughter. Her scream was so loud. LOL. And they successfully caught the attention of not only the police, but everyone in the world. This is the house where Claudinia Blanchard was found stabbed to death. Everyone was so alone because Gypsy Rose was nowhere to be seen. And the fact that her special wheelchair was left meant that something wrong had happened to her. And this was all part of Gypsy's plan. She staged everything so it would look like she was kidnapped and she would never resurface again. But for her, this turned out to be a huge mistake. Because the police traced the location by checking where those messages on Facebook were posted. And and the police were led to Nicholas's house where Gypsy was found safe and sound. Uh, your mom's dead. Wait, okay. yes. She's deceased, all right? Now, what I want to ask you, did you have involvement in this? No. no. Yeah. In news reports, everyone dropped their jaws when they saw Gypsy walking in prison uniform without her signature glasses and her special wheelchair because she looked healthy and perfectly normal. Far from the sickly image she displayed all of her life, she went from looking like this to this. During the trial, she exposed how her mom tricked everyone, including her. My mother controlled everything I did. I was forced to use a wheelchair. She started telling people that I had cancer. But none of it was true. But the question is this. If her mom was faking all of her sicknesses for 23 years, how come not even one doctor exposed the truth? Gypsy believed that the doctors were in on it for the fame and the money. The more sickness her mom claimed she had, the more medical bills they needed to pay. The more money the doctors could get. Because part of the reason why Gypsy decided to unalive her mom was the fact that she believed that she was really dying. 
but it was only in jail when she finally realized that all of her illnesses were fake, even her cancer. And the biggest twist that they discovered was that her mom was the one who was really sick in the head. She had a psychological disorder called Munchau Sen Syndrome by proxy, where parents look for attention by using their child's made up illnesses. And that's not all. She was also diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. But did her mother deserve to die? People all over the world who heard about Gypsy Rose's story believed that her mom deserved to die. And Gypsy revealed that she was only able to make the murder plan because she was so high from all of the medicine her mom was giving her. But if she could go back, she said that she wouldn't resort to murder again because... I love my mom. I just wanted out of that situation. I wanted out of that home. Gypsy Rose pleaded guilty for second degree murder and she was sentenced to 10 years in prison. And being in jail made her the happiest because she experienced freedom from the made up disturbing world her mom created for her. Now she has been granted parole and she just got out of prison after serving eight and a half years. She's back in the outside world and she's become an instant social media star. Everywhere she goes, cameras follow and every video she posts goes viral. So a lot of people are asking this, why are people online glorifying a murderer? Well, this is what Gypsy has to say about it. I don't want to have to remind people every single time that I'm not the one that committed the act of the kill. When they say I'm a murderer, I don't identify as that. So let me ask you again, in your opinion, is Gypsy Rose a survivor, a murderer, or both?